There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another random DOS game show and the second composite game in a row. This is Novatron. Copyright Verisoft Works. Okay, the insert key will turn you left. The delete key will turn you right. F10 will speed up your wall. Okay, use the space bar to continue. So, sound one, no sound A. Oh right, so the option, oh my goodness. It's, it's going crazy. Uh, I guess I better select something. Beginners and sound. Okay, all oh, right, right. I know what this is. Oh, I crashed into a wall. <laughs> yep, I am rightly called Chump. Okay, let's try that again. And I'll explain after this round what this is. Okay, the computer is trying to wall me off here. Oh, I, I'm just not getting behind this turning. Come on, Lonnie, you can do better than this. The computer's 2 nil up. Right. Okay. So. Oh, we collided. Jump one, computer two. Yeah, that's right, computer. So, I'm just going to go the long route here. Oh, oh no, I turned in on myself. And I'll explain what's going wrong shortly. Let's, let's play one more round. Because it really, it really doesn't require much more than that. Right, here's my plan. Aha! Yeah, now if I just time this right... I didn't time it right. And I'll tell you the problem. <laughs> okay, so this is like the light cycle game of Tron. Which is a little like Snake. It has two competitors in a square, or sort of a square, and they gradually grow. And they're not actually growing, they're putting up walls. And the walls uh, are instant death. And that includes the walls on the square, much like in Snake. But in this case, you're trying to entrap the opponent inside your walls, or make them run into one of your walls, or force them to hit an outer wall in order to get a point. The problem is, aside from it being two-button controlled, is that it's gone for, I don't know if that's a trimetric or isometric perspective, but it, it's completely thrown me. It's, I mean, it's, it's nice for its time. You know, oh, I'm going to collide there. I think he's got, got the better of me here. Or have I trapped him? No. Sorry, you've lost three times in a row. Yeah. So, I could have used F10 to speed up my wall and, you know, taken on the computer a bit better than that. But ultimately, Novatron is a product of its time where they hadn't quite figured out that just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. And in this case, the isometric perspective just does not work with a two-button control system, especially when the buttons in question on the keyboard are directly above and below each other. And there goes that sound again. So yeah, what is Novatron? It is an attempt to make a light cycle game. It's not a bad idea, and it's an interesting concept, taken straight from an 80s movie. But yeah, with the control scheme as it is, I could not get to grips with it. Nice composite graphics, decent PC speaker sound, very, very simple gameplay, but very, very finickety and difficult to master. And if you like me feeling miserably at games, it does happen sometimes. Feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos on the channel. And if you like what you see there as opposed to here, you can always subscribe. And if you weren't as bamboozled by the idea of pressing an up and down key for left and right, you might be one of my spatially aware patrons. 
who can glide through Novatron with ease, entrapping the computer in their walls. Look at those great members and patrons. Wonderful people. So yeah, my spatial awareness isn't that great, so this was a complete miss for me. But, you know, it's competently programmed, and was probably very entertaining back in the early 80s. Especially for people who'd watched Tron. Until next time.